welcome to another edition of Lab Rats, your favorite video technology show, where we demystify the buzzwords, we explain this weird techno mumbo jumbo that you hear out there in the world, and we show you how to use your technology uh, so it is easy to use. Yay! And we tell a few jokes along the way. They're not necessarily good jokes. No, but they are jokes all the same. We try. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And today on the show, we're going to demystify something that we kind of alluded to in a previous show, right? Yes. DPI. Dots per inch. Dots per inch. Yeah, we were talking about resolution uh, earlier. That's right. Yeah. How, many, how many dots this way? How many dots that way? How many megapixels is the image? And why does it matter? We talked about DPI briefly and pushed it forward right. to another show. This is that show. This is that it's show. It's different from megapixels and resolution. Thank God. All right. So when we come back, we're going to demystify DPI. But first, we have to look at a message from our sponsor. But we'll be back right after this. How many DPI is this upcoming message? 400, I think. 400? That doesn't make sense. I know. All right, so DPI, dots per inch, let's demystify that real quick. So, uh, and I guess why uh, is this important outside of, I guess, the resolution conversation? Do you have a sense of that? Well, outside of the resolution conversation, Here's the thing, yeah. is your screen, photographs, magazines, books to a certain extent, they're all made up of dots. Right. Um, everything that you see is not, you know, when you, well, I mean, you could, you could argue that everything in the real world is made out of dots as well if you start getting into the photon discussion, but that's a little <laughs> bit further than we want to go today. Anyways, any print medium that you see and anything you see on your screen, tiny little dots. So actually what it is is actually a description of the, the number of dots uh, in an image, yes. right? Now, that image could be on your screen, and your screen has a specific DPI, right? The screen actually can show a certain number of dots. Mm -hmm. And if you print it out, your printer has a capacity of showing a certain number of dots as well. So it, you know, if you say, hey, how many, what's the DPI of that photograph? Well, it has whatever DPI you know, that it has. Sort of thing. It's just not really a description of the photo itself. It's a description of the medium it's being showed on, right? Mm -hmm. So just to get started, most screens that you see today have a DPI resolution of 72. That means that there are 72 dots in an inch of screen. All right. So we're going to show you right now the dots that make up your screen. And we have a little cool little gadget here called the. This is the iClops from Jack Pacific. Uh -huh. It's a toy. It's for, for kids, basically. Uh -huh. But it's also a really handy tool for getting up really close. Ooh, very cool. All right, Oops. too close. Try not to break it. All right, All right so, so we're going to actually look at the dots that make up my screen yeah. on my laptop here. So you see the screen flickering behind us? That's because it's not focusing on anything. But once we get up close here, we can actually see by going around on the screen here that all of your red has disappeared. So, but we see red, or red, green, and blue pixels, pixels typically make up what you see on the screen. There you go. And uh, right now we've got a lot of green and blue because the, of the background here. You can find some red. Oh, there's some red. There you go. So we can see the three of them. So now the more of these dots that you see in any particular space, in a particular inch, the higher the uh, quality will be because you'll see less of the dots. So if you had, say, like four dots per inch, you would see those dots. And I mean, go back to our resolution episode to see just what that would look like if you blew the dots up to you know, a huge scale. Right. Now we should mention here, we were seeing red, green, and blue there, right? So actually any given pixel or dot of color information is actually made off of a red value, a green value, and a blue value, RBG. Mm -hmm. So when, we, when you see, so those individual dots aren't counted, actually. Three of them are counted at a time because it's a rating that evaluates and produces the light required to see a particular color. OK, so that's dots on a screen. Now Sean's going to actually look at a photograph we printed out. And we're going to look at the dots of ink produced by the photograph on there. So okay. can you ask? So we can see some lightly colored dots in the background there. If we scroll around on this picture, you can see that they're starting to splodge together into uh, bigger colors here, you know, a hole. So we've got black and we've got all of this. And this, this doesn't look like much, does it? It looks like just no. a bunch of crud on the screen. Yeah. But when we pull this up to see what we're seeing, it's actually a photograph of our camera guy, Matt. That's right. There he is, all pretty. There you go. He looks kind of like this. If you flip the camera around at him, it would look like that. Right. So let's, let's go practical all of a sudden, right? Because you're, you're probably sitting there going, well, look, I get DPI. I get dots per inch. But why is it useful to me? Well, I'm going to open up that very same image on my computer. And I'm going to show you 
how many dots of information makes up this particular image, or how many pixels is in the image. So I'm just going to, so if you're in Windows, you can right click and you can choose properties and then go over to details and it'll actually show you, if we go all the way down here, it says dimensions, 1200 by six, 1600, 1200 pixels width by 1600 pixels height, right? So that's the number of dots. Now, here, let me open it up as well in uh, one of the uh, free files we've done recently with misdownload called IrfanView. So I'm going to open with IrfanView here. Okay, there we go. So what I want to do here is, if I'm going to go and print it, what I want to do is evaluate how big the image is going to be. So if I print it out at full resolution, so I'm going to go image, and I'm going to look at how big it is. So resize, resample, and it tells me, again, it's 1,200 by 1,600 pixels, yeah. right? So on my screen, to figure out how big it's going to appear on the screen, I divide by 72, right? And of course, if, you, if I turn this around for you, Matt, it's a big picture. Look it's how big huge. this picture is. Huge, right? Yeah, it overflows the screen. And that was one of the points we were getting across with the resolution uh, argument earlier is uh, two megapixel can overflow your screen. That's right. And of course, you know, so, but most people would think, well, wait a second. If the image is this big on my screen, when I push print, it should show off on a piece of paper that's that big. But here it is. We've actually printed it out. Same, same. Um, basically all the pixels available we printed out and now all of a sudden it's tiny. So yeah. how come? Why is that the case? Well, let's do a bit of math, right? So let's just, just, so if you look at 1200 by 1600 and you divide 72, right, let's just do it on the calculator here. I think that might be fun. So I'm going to go to calculator and I'm going to say 1200 divided by 72. Can you uh, keep track of this, Sean? So it's 16, right? So 16, 16 inches, inches. So right? that's 16 that's inches more or less across. 16 inches across, right? Mm -hmm. And that's divided by, and that's, then we do 1,200 divided by 72. And that is, oh, no, that's 1,600. Yeah, yeah, 16 across, that would be for 12. 1,600 will be even bigger. Even bigger, right? So that's going to be 22. Yeah, so, so 22 so inches so that's this the way. Nearly two feet. Of images. Yeah, sort of, exactly. Now, I'm going to do the math slightly differently now, right? Now I'm going to do the print resolution. So mm -hmm. on a printer, right? The typical resolution is 300 dots per inch. Okay, that'll give us a nice clean printout. So let's do that. So we've got 1600. I don't need no calculator to, to do this one, my okay. friend. There we go. Five inches, right? Look at it. There you go. There you go. Five inches by clear 1200. Now this one's easy. Clear. Yeah, by, yeah divided by three. That's that's four. Uh, four, right? Yeah. So you got five <laughs> by four. Thank you for, for the math lesson. That's very good. Don't need my calculator for that. So as you can see, this big on your screen because it's 72 dpi, and this big when it prints out on your printer at 300 dpi. Yep. So it makes sense, right? If you want to print something out at 8 by 10, you've got to capture enough pixels so that when you divide that 8 by 10 divided by times 300, right, is going to be 2,400 pixels by 3,000 pixels. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's important to capture a really large amount of dots, pixels, so you can print out a resolution. Uh, that's nice and you can frame it, yeah. otherwise it becomes all kind of sparse and, and white. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's also the same reason why uh, when you're using your printer dialog box and you say scale to fit your page, mm -hmm. you're putting more information in there or you're lo loosening up the, the pixels a little bit so it looks a little bit crappier than it would be. Are we allowed to say crappy on this show? Yes, you are. Okay, good. PG really. Okay, so it, it looks worse crappier than it needs to because you're doing something with the original dots that were in that image right. that wasn't... Uh, wasn't accurate to what we want to show. Right. And one final thought before we take a break. So if you resized your, your image from, say, 1200 by, 16, by 1600 down to 800 by 600, right, you're, you're reducing the number of, of uh, pixels. When you go to print it out, of course, it's going to be even smaller. So remember that. If you're going to reduce it and then email it to your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister, of course, when if they go to print it out, it's going to be really yucky because it's going to be even smaller than this. Not enough dots. The, yeah, the information, right? Or the quality is going to go down. They could print it out the same size, but the information is going to get all stretched out. There'll be lots of white space between the pixels, and it'll look worse. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. All right, that's a. Uh, let's take a break. No, I've got a rant first. You got a rant first. I got a mini rant. You alluded to this a little bit earlier when you said, uh, you know, images don't have a dots per inch. And, and a lot of people, even in the, the print profession, don't get this. Mm. So you have an image right here that's 1,200 by 1,600. So you send this as an image. Someone might come back and say, how many dots per inch is that? And the answer is, however many you print it out as. <laughs> dots per inch is not a measure of 
that. Resolution. The resolution. Megapixel is the issue of resolution. Now, the reason a lot of people, even print professionals, think this way is when you do um, a look at the metadata of some of these files, it'll say 72 DPI in there. And that's just to match your screen. But the image itself is not 72 DPI or 300 DPI or 1200 DPI. It's a description of the output method. It's a dis description of the output method. So, and I've had print professionals say to me, could you resend that image at 300 DPI? Right. And my initial reaction was no. <laughs> And then we get into this big argument. So what I did is I went in there, edited the metadata to say 300 DPI, and sent it back the to the same, same image. All I changed was that one little smart tweak. You're such a smart so ass. just remember, there's no such thing as a DPI on a digital photograph. Right, exactly. Okay. Very good. Thanks a lot. All right, well, let's take a break. And uh, when we come back, uh, our download of the day from this download. And of course, your favorite in mind, picture time. Well, uh, before we get on to picture time, let's uh, pop over and see Ms. Poirier with her download of the day on our Miss Download segment. And check out her sweater, it's very cool today. Hi, I'm Cheryl Poirier. Welcome to Miss Download. I have found a way for you to go green on your computer. There are a lot of different ways. I have found a way for you to save money on ink and toner. Yes, it's called EcoPrint 2 and you can find it on twocows.com. Now you get a 50-day free trial on this and after that it is $39.99. Once you download it, you will find this, you will have a little green leaf that will pop up on your system tray. Double click on that, and this is what you find. Now, a really great utility of this particular uh, program is it allows you, it's, it gives you a sliding scale of how much ink and toner you want to use on every copy. So you can use 25% less ink, 50% less ink, 75% less ink. I've just got it here at 50% less ink. What it also uh, allows you to do is type in the cost of your cartridges. So a black cartridge, for instance, I Googled it today, about $17.99 here in Canada. <laughs> and a color cartridge is a little bit more, about $24.99. Say you're in your home and use about one of those each a month. You plug in cartridge used a month, the value, I put one on each. When you click apply down here in the bottom right-hand corner, what it does is it tells you how much money you're saving every month and then how much money you're saving every year in ink and toner costs. So if you go down to 50% less ink and toner for every copy or, or thing that you print, per month you're going to be saving $21.49, and per year you're going to be saving over $250. And if you're just using this in your office or your small business or your home and you want to go, you want to save 75% less ink because you're just, you know, printing off something that you need to kind of have around but it's not really important, that price goes up exponentially, which is fabulous. So you save money, you save ink, you save toner, and you save the environment. Go green. <laughs> and you know what? You know, well, Miss Daniel's doing her thing. Biff, the like guys come up here and love us. Oh, and how many hairs per inch does this guy have? It must be changed the season. <laughs> it's oh, HPI. That's hairs what we need. On our cat. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, we'll take a look. You good? All right. We'll, we'll show that at the end. We've got some viewer photographs But in the meantime, first. let's get on to picture time. We have picture time. So, to start out with, we Oops. have uh, Ian. Sorry. I, I think your screen capture is done, dude. Sorry. Okay. All right. So, Ian from Sta Stafford in the uh, UK. Very good, yeah. Sent this picture of him watching Lab Rats, it looks like. And it looks like, oh, you look, he's you also got the Lab Rats bar up top. Wow. You can download that from our site. Labrats so, TV, there you go, the yeah. Labrats ticker. Very cool. So okay. thank you, Ian. We also have uh, Aaron Weissman. A Aaron actually sent a, a mailbag question in earlier, uh -huh. and you accused him of owning stock in Adobe. Yes. He wrote in to let us know he owns no stock in Adobe. He doesn't. Okay. But Sorry, he does Aaron. have this picture that he sent along to us. Oh, so very good. Thank you, Aaron. Is that his wife? Uh, maybe in the background, I don't know. That's his daughter, I guess. Uh, I'm assuming. Very good. I, I shouldn't make assumptions. No, that's right. Okay. Well, don't forget, when you, when you send your pictures to us, let us know who's in the photograph. We want to know, right? We want to know where you are, who you are, and who uh, you're in the picture with. That and looks like Aaron and his daughter and his wife. And that plant's in the background. What is that? Is that a ficus? It's a ficus. We want to know. All right. All right. So now we've got a whole family here. Uh, I love it. And they're all identified. Oh, yay. So this See? is Javier in uh, Mexico. Uh -huh. He's a professor of industrial engineering. Okay. No wow. And uh, this is... 
his wife Susanna, uh -huh. his uh, son Leonardo, who's uh -huh. three, uh -huh. and his daughter Anna, who's two. See, that's beautiful. Perfect resolution. Great photographs. It was, it was well great. Well lit. We know all your names. We know where you're from. And this was actually taken at Anna's birthday party. So we even know the circumstances. Do we know what flavor the cake is? Uh, that looks like pears or apples mm, or something up there. Tasty. Very good. Whatever it is, okay, well, it looks tasty. Thank you, Javier. What, perfect. What, perfect submission. See, what I want to know is yes. how they took this picture with the camera back over here. I don't know. Well, it's, a, it's a mystery. It's a series of mirrors. Okay, and, and finally? Finally, we've got Phil, right. who is uh, taking this picture at the Flying Club hmm. in Rockton, uh, Ontario. Rockton, Ontario. Okay, Rockton, so it's, Ontario. So it's quasi local to us. Quasi local. Not far from Fairly close, yeah. yes. Very good. So there you go. Fabulous pictures this week. Thanks All so right. much. All right, good. All right, so you, uh, you uh, end the episode, and I'm going to take a look at uh, Mr. Biff's hair if we can. Okay, perfect. All right, well, thank you for uh, downloading us today. Thank you for pushing play. And don't forget to send your pictures to feedback at labrats.tv and check out our website for all the episodes that we have about all the demystification of all the technology at labrats.tv. And that's it for us. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And this is Biff's hair. Cool. We'll see you next time. Are you ready? Well, uh, before we get on to picture time, let's uh, pop over and see Ms. Poirier with her download of the day on our Miss Download segment. And check out her sweater. It's very cool today. You know what sweater she's going to be wearing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're all cool. They're all cool. Okay. So right. I'll wear my left shirt. How's that? There you go. Yeah. All right. So, so picture back. time. Back in five. So that's, that's the third one, <laughs> the third episode. Wear a cool sweater. Yeah. <laughs>